Assalamu alaikum. So today I would like to perform uh, uh, determinations of shrinkage and swelling. So you need a wood cube, right, and a vernier caliper. Okay. So the first thing that you need to to understand is to how to determine the wood directions on a wood cube. All right. So the first thing that you need to do, to do is to make a mark on all wood directions. Okay. So the first one would be your longitudinal directions from this point up to this point. Okay, and then your tangential direction and also the radial direction. All right, so I'll make a mark on the all wood direction. All right, this is the longitudinal direction. And then your tangent direction, tangential direction. And the last one is your radial direction. All right. So as you can see here, so this line straight would be your longitudinal direction. And this one would be your tangential direction. And this one would be your radial direction. Okay. Then you need to make a measurement for all wood direction, right? By using the vernier caliper, right? Turn it on. Okay, do make sure that the digital meter would be zero. Okay. All right, so the digital meter would be zero. Okay. So scroll back. Place your sample on the line that have you made okay and then so record the data this is your longitudinal direction okay and this one is your tangential direction and the last one would be your radial direction okay so don't forget to record the data right so that's it for the measurements of the wood direction so let's go to the lab okay hi and so after make a measurements of the wood directions all right you need to place your sample your wood cube sample in the oven okay so place your sample in the oven at 103 plus minus 2 and leave it for 24 hours. 10 to 15 minutes cooling in the daisy cater. Take out your sample, right? And then you need to measure by using the vernier caliper on the mark that have you made before the longitudinal directions, the tangential direction, and also the radial direction. So you have a complete data to calculate the percentage of shrinkage. All right. So after that, the same sample, right, which have been go through the shrinkage test, you have to place the sample in the desiccator, right, which contains of water okay there is a water in the desiccator all right so from here you need to observe your sample for day one and day three okay, that's it uh, for today labs the determinations of shrinkage and swelling so now you can calculate the percentage of shrinkage and the percentage of swelling thank you and see you on the next lab